So we're going to do a bivariate data set processing in Excel 2010. I've got my two columns here, X on the left, Y on the right. We're being very clear about what's explanatory and response. And I'm going to use the example of year versus the average temperature for that year in New York City. So I've got my data set all highlighted as you can see and I'll just go to insert scatter and hit the clear scatter plot there we go get the regression line in there with the equation just in one shot here by clicking on the linear regression icon here with the function of X symbol on it there we go, in one shot we got the equation and the line. I'll just clean up this graph a little bit and delete the R squared. So you can also left or sorry, right click and add trend line to bring up this menu, giving all the possibilities for the regression line. In most cases, we'll be doing linear. If you're suspicious that it's your data set is non-linear, then you can explore these other options. And we can display the equation on the chart just with this here. I've already done that. And I'll go ahead and name the graph so you really want to make sure your all your axes are labeled There we go. It's a good idea to have units in your axes. And there's the graph complete with the regression line equation. And now the last step is to get the correlation. So I'll just open this up a little bit here. And I'll label this here correlation coefficient and in the box beside it I'll put the equation in to find correlation it's just equals coral bracket highlight the X variable I'm gonna hit comma and now highlight the next column so I'm choosing the two sets of data that we want to correlate and hit enter. Boom, there we go. So as you can see, there's very low correlation between these two variables. And that's it. Thanks to Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds for the entertainment in the background.